In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at my KDP income report for the month of March. Now, before we get into today's video, this video is also part of a playlist, and if you'd like to see the rest of those videos, I'll link that playlist down in the description below. So, first of all, let's take a quick look at lifetime of my account. So now, over lifetime, since the end of 2018, I have now earned $159,000 in royalties. So that's not sales, that's actual royalties which I have received. Now, if we take a look just here, we can see that some months are better than others. Some months are great, some months not so great. Now, that's just the nature of business, and that's always going to happen. One month, you could have your best month ever, and then the following month, you could have your worst month ever. Again, this is just the nature of having your own online business. Now, if we scroll down to the bottom, we can actually see on lifetime, we can see that 82.8% of my earnings have come from Amazon.com, 13% from here in the UK, 3.4% from Canada, and then just a little bit in other marketplaces. Now, if we change this, we can see that that equates to 132,000 earned from Amazon.com, and that's because I mainly target my books and do all my research on the US marketplace. Then $20,000 from here in the UK, 5,000 from Canada, and again, just a little bit in other marketplaces. Now, earnings by month of the year, we can see that on average, my best month is December. My second best month is February. Now, that's because December, obviously, being Q4 and people purchasing gifts for their loved ones and then february mainly because of valentine's day now if we scroll down all the way to the bottom to around about here we can see that i've earned that a hundred and fifty nine thousand dollars because i've now sold over eighty thousand books now that still sounds absolutely insane to me that i have created books and now I've sold over 80,000 of them. Again, that just sounds crazy to me. Now, let's scroll back up to the top to round about here so we can go over to the month of March to see how much I earned. So as we can see, for March, I earned $1,898. Now, this isn't all profit because I was running ads as well. So later on in the video, we are going to go over to my ads dashboard and deduct my spend, my ad spend, from my royalties just here. So again, we can now see that I earned 1,898 for the month of March. Now this is quite low compared to what I was making, but again, this is to be expected. Not every single month in your online business is going to be the same. And again, one month you could have your best month ever, the second month you could be your lowest month ever. This is just the nature of business. Now, if we take a look here, we can see my best day for March was here, where I earned $109. My lowest month, or my lowest day, sorry, was $23. Now, if we change this to earnings, or go to units just here, we can see that my best day, I sold 48. My lowest day, I only sold 11. Now, let's go back on to earnings, and let's scroll down to roundabout here. We can see that 91% of my earnings came from Amazon.com, 5% from here in the UK, and then Canada, just a little 2%. And it seems like my best day for the month of March, averaged out, was on a Tuesday, where I made an average of $72. Now, if we come down to here, we can see which books that I sold. So I sold 910 units, making 1,898. My best-selling book for March, I sold 409 units, making $834. This is one of my adult colouring books, where I do not run ads, because I have profanity on the front cover, and when you have profanity on the front cover of any of your books, you are not allowed to run ads. 
Now my second best seller was this one where I sold 152, making $305. Again, this is another one of my adult coloring books. Then just here, this is one of my newer books. So actually, this is one of my AI coloring books where I sold 52 units, making $137. Now I am running ads on this one as well, just with a little budget. Now right here, I sold 46 units making $115. This is one of my just standard notebooks which tends to do fairly well this time of year. Then this one I sold 29 units making $58. This is one of my composition notebooks which tends to do fairly well this time of year. So this book along with another couple down here should actually really start taking off over the next week or so. But this one I sold 25 units, making $56. This is one of my Valentine's Day books. Surprising that it's still doing fairly well. And then let's just do this last one here. I sold 18, making $31. And again, this is another one of my composition notebooks. It's kind of a composition notebook, but it's marketed as a notebook. But you get the idea. So... One more thing, let's actually just scroll down so you can see the rest of these sales. 18, 14, 10, 9, 8, 6, 6, 5, 3. You can see I did actually sell quite a few books, just quite a bit lower than my normal months. So let's head on over to my ads manager just here so we can deduct my ad spend from my royalties. First, let's take a look at lifetime of my advertising account. Now over lifetime, I've spent $29,000. I've made 110,000 in sales. This is not royalties, that is sales, unfortunately, with an average ACoS of around 26%. Now this was higher, but for the month of February, I had some really good performing ads, which really brought this down. Now, I've also sold, through running ads, over 12,000 books. Now, let's go on here. Let's go to last month, just there. And now we can start looking at my ad spend and deduct that from my royalties. But first, let's take a look at my ad spend for the month. So, for the month of March, I spent $228, making $383 dollars in sales with a 59% ACoS. Now that is extremely high but I was testing lots of different ads on lots of different books. Now from my ad spend I actually sold 48 orders. So I already have the royalties plugged into a calculator just here. So let's go ahead and deduct it. We're going to do take away 228.64 Let's just go back over to here. Let's pull that up again. So my royalties for the month of March was 1,898 minus my ad spend gives me $1,670. Now with me, I'm still extremely happy with this. I would have liked it to be a little bit higher, but it is what it is. Again, with having any type of online business, unless it's a recurring business, your income is never going to be the same. So let's go back over to here for a second. We can see that some months I have really good months. In February, I did $7,235 in royalties. But then if we take a look just here, for July last year, I only did 1700 as we can see. But again, even with March, March tends to be a lower month for me. Same kind of April as well. But March, I did 1,898. If we go over to March last year, was a little bit higher. But then the previous March is 1,400. The previous March to that, 1,400 again. So March tends to be a lower month for me. And then things tend to start picking up the end of April. Now, why is this? Well, I have lots of different books in lots of different niches and which sell at different times of the year. But again, if you have a month which is your best month ever, then you're probably going to have a month which is going to be your lowest month ever as well. Again, we can see that some months are really great for me and other months 
are quite low. And again, this is just the nature of business. Anyway, how was your March? Did you make a lot of royalties? Was it a good month? Was it a low month? Drop a comment down below letting me know. And if you want to see the rest of my income reports going all the way back to November 2018, click right here and watch this playlist.